Hi, I hope everyone is doing well. It's that point in the semester where we begin working on the course project. So I wanted to go over the instructions in a video. As you know from the syllabus, the project is the most important thing that we will be doing this semester. It is worth 300 points or 30% of your overall course grade. While I know that is a lot, the nice thing about this project is you have a lot of time to work on it. It is not due until just before the end of the semester. And it can be about absolutely anything that you would like. So think about yourself, think about your interests, think about a topic that you know well and that you would like to create original content about. If you love basketball or gaming or fashion or travel or art or music or tattoos, um, you know, you can create your project about anything that you want. So again, uh, try to think about what really interests you because that would be um, a good project topic. Now, the project entails a few different things. First, everyone will be writing a paper, and I will talk about that now in the video. And second, everyone will be creating three original content items about their topic and uploading them to a website that they create. I will record another video in a few weeks that focuses specifically on creating the website. So don't worry about that too much right now. Uh, for now, um, Think about your project topic and what you could potentially do. And I will ask everyone this week to send me an email with your project topic. And I will reply maybe with some suggestions or ideas um, that I have. And, and you are all welcome to bounce um, several topics off of me if you're having trouble deciding. Uh, as the weeks progress and you work on the project, please keep a copy of the instructions handy. Um, that way you won't miss anything with the paper or with the website assignment because everything is laid out here. So I would like to take a few minutes to go through, through the instructions. I'm going to get myself out of here um, so we can just focus on the document at hand. As you can see, the whole purpose of this project is to familiarize students with the process of creating media content for a target audience. So as I said, that entails writing a paper, creating three pieces of original content about your topic, and publishing a website with that content available. And that really executes the plans that you describe in your paper. So the paper, as you can see, is worth half of the points, and the website is worth the other half. Now, in terms of the paper, this is not a research paper, like an MLA or an APA paper. This is simply just a paper where you are explaining your own ideas. So this is not a paper where I'm expecting to see like in-text citations or a works cited list or anything like that. Your paper should have an introduction, body, and a conclusion. And the body of the paper should contain all of these sections that I have listed here. The total length of your paper should be at least four pages. Now, if any of you are not confident writers, please take your paper uh, to the writing center and have a, a tutor proofread it for you. They are more than happy to help you if you struggle with writing. Um, you can work with a tutor in person or virtually, but that service is there if you need it. Anyway, when you begin your paper, like I said, you're going to begin with a brief introduction that previews your paper. After that, I should see all of these sections. Your title. Come up with a title for your project that is relative to your topic or what it is all about. Your mission statement is the section of your paper where you explain the whole purpose um, and the objective of its publication. So what is it about? How is it unique? Why would someone want to visit this website? What would they see or what would they learn? Um, you know, is this a website that's going to teach people how to play basketball or a certain sport? Is this a, a website that's going to review uh, different restaurants in Buffalo? Or is this a website that's going to showcase um, your original music or artwork? Um, is this a website that's going to teach people how to prepare certain recipes? I mean, I'm just throwing ideas out there. But um, think about your topic and what you hope to accomplish with your website. 
website. Um, it's also important to acknowledge your competition and explain how your idea is different or better than what is already out there. And usually that comes from it being your own creation or your take on things. After explaining your mission statement, your job is to explain your target audience. Now, certainly any person can visit any website, but most media content is created with a specific group of people in mind. Audiences are typically targeted by demographics, psychographics, and geographics. Now, each of these words is explained in your textbook, but in brief, a demographic has to do with someone's age or their age range, their gender, their racial or ethnic background, their income, or their occupation. So think about your topic. Is it more geared towards teenagers or senior citizens or middle-aged people? Is it more geared towards men or towards women? Or maybe it encompasses both genders. Um, is it for people of a specific racial or ethnic background? Or does it focus on people who work in a specific occupation? So those are all demographics. In addition to that, psychographics have to do with people's personalities, their attitudes, their lifestyles, their hobbies. Um, think about what things people like doing. Um, you know, somebody might be an extreme sports enthusiast or someone might be a vegan or a vegetarian. Um, you know, these are words that describe their lifestyles and their behaviors. Um, so think about the hobbies and the interests that your target audience has. Also think about their geographics or where your audience is located. Now, you could certainly create content that is appropriate for someone who lives anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world, or you may want to focus that geographic region a little bit. It could be um, content that is mostly geared for people who live in Western New York or who live in Buffalo, or maybe it's for students of Erie Community College. I mean, those geographics, again, can be as wide or as narrow as you like. Um, but try to pinpoint your target audience as best as you can. The next section is potential advertisers. And here, I would like you to identify at least six advertisers, I mean actual brand names of products or services, that would utilize your website to reach their target audience. So your website does not have to have ads on it. I'm not expecting that it does, but you should be identifying advertisers in your paper. So think about your topic, Think about your target audience and think about what products and services are relative to that group of people. For example, if we were going to be doing a project about travel and maybe we were going to cover a bunch of different uh, places that we have traveled to where we have, um, you know, gone to restaurants or attractions or taken pictures or videos and we were trying to think about products or services that people who like to travel would use. Um, you know, I think about hotels like, you know, the Hilton or the Marriott. I think about airlines, American Airlines, JetBlue, Delta. I think about transportation companies like Uber and Lyft. I think about companies that make bags and suitcases like Samsonite. I mean, these are all products that travelers would be interested in. So again, think about your topic, think about your target audience, um, and come up with a list of at least six products um, that would make sense for your advertisers. And also in your paper, explain why you picked each of the advertisers that you did. The next item is your content. So here in your paper, you are going to be previewing the original content that you have created for your website. And again, original means created by you, not by someone else. Now, your original content can come in any format that you would like. It can be written articles or blog posts. It can be photo galleries. It can be artwork, audio, video. You know, you might want to record a podcast episode or you might want to uh, record a video about your topic. It doesn't have to be written work. Uh, but in your paper, you are going to give a brief 
preview of what the content is that I could expect to see on your website. And obviously, um, your content should reflect your mission statement and be of interest to your target audience. So if I go back to my example on travel, um, let's say you're somebody who is, enjoys traveling and maybe you've been a few places or you're headed a few places, um, write about your experience visiting those places or things that you like or you enjoyed seeing. Um, if you have photos of the attractions um, that you've visited, you could certainly use them on this project, or if you can record any videos of things that you are doing while you were there. Um, those are the types of things that I'm talking about for original content. And, and you know, in this case, you could organize the content uh, based on location. You may have uh, one piece about Disney, one piece about Nashville, and a third piece about someplace else that you visited. So there's really a lot of options here for things that you can do. The last section of your paper is to discuss your publication schedule. So think about your website and ideally what type of a publication schedule would work best. Um, if you were to keep this going long term, how often would new content be posted? Is it something that you could, you know, add content every day or every week or every month or quarterly? Certainly no one has to keep this website going long term, but hypothetically, um, you know, how could you see yourself managing this long term? Or what are some things that you could add in the future? So these are the things that I would like you to discuss in your paper. After you've covered each one of these sections in the body of your paper, you should have um, a conclusion or a summary paragraph that sort of wraps things up. So once again, give this a little thought. Think about a topic that may work for you um, and shoot me an email with your thoughts. Now, the other half of this project is the website. I am going to show everyone how to create a website using Wix. However, you don't have to use Wix to create your website. If any of you have built a website with a different platform before, maybe you've used WordPress or Weebly or Squarespace, you are welcome to use any platform that you would like. Uh, but I am going to demonstrate Wix in this class in a few weeks. So we will all learn how to create an account, choose a template, um, start to build that site. Um, so like I said, a separate video will be coming for that. But just to give everyone a preview right now, what I'm looking for everyone to do is to build a website. Um, your homepage is typically your landing point. Your home page should have your project's title along with some type of a visual that would capture the attention of your target audience. Uh, those could be pictures, graphics, or even a video, um, but something, you know, visual that gets attention. Off of that home page, um, your original content should be linked or should be accessible. Now, the nice thing about this project is that you could create your original content in Wix or you could create it in another place. Uh, for example, if you've recorded a video and that video is out there on YouTube, you could link out to YouTube for me to watch the video. Or if you've done a piece of writing and that writing is saved in a Word document or a Google Docs, um, it's very easy just to upload or, um, you know, that document to your Wix website. So the content can be in Wix web pages um, or it can be in another platform. Either one works for me. Uh, but like I said, you've got a lot of options. Your original content can come in the form of writing. It can come in photography, slideshows, artwork, audio, video, or any combination of the above. Um, you you might have one written piece, you might have one video, and you might have one podcast episode. So um, any combination here works. But again, the original content that you create should be relevant to your mission statement and your target audience. And if for any reason you, you would like to use content that you didn't create, that is okay. Just know that that doesn't count as one of your original content items. And anything that you didn't create yourself should be cited or there should be some type of a credit with that. Uh, once the website is built, you are going to publish that website. Um, you are then going to copy and paste your web address into uh, Brightspace to hand it in along with submitting your paper. So that is the plan for submission. 
We are going to be working on this project a little bit every week until it is due. So um, like I said, give it some thought. Let me know with or what you're thinking for your topic idea. If anyone is struggling, please don't hesitate to reach out. I am happy to help in any way I can. Good luck, and I will talk to everyone again very soon.